Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time here. So happy to have you. My name is Megan and I'm a 26 year old mom to two little kiddos. My son Rowan just turned two and my daughter Juniper is four weeks old. And today I'm gonna to be talking about my newborn essentials for her. This is not my first rodeo, so I've really pared this down to just the products that I consider essential that I feel like we could not have lived without in this newborn period. I did also do a video like this when Rowan was born, and that has a lot of really great stuff on it and stuff that I would still consider to be essentials, but for the sake of not repeating myself and just making the same video over again, I'm just gonna link that up here so you guys can see all of that. But these are the things that I've upgraded or discovered this time around that have been absolutely life-changing for us. So I'm gonna get right into it. The first thing that I want to talk about is feeding stuff because we had a little bit of a rough start to our breastfeeding journey. Juniper did not have a great latch and so I was in a lot of pain and it was just not the most fun time. One of the things that really helped me was going to a lactation appointment at my hospital and they recommended a couple of products that absolutely turned everything around for us. And the first one is this pillow. Um, this is the best nursing pillow in the world. I know the Snuggle Me Organic is like more aesthetic and the Boppy is easier to get your hands on. This one is from my best friend. Um, I got it on Amazon, I'll link it down below because you have to get this nursing pillow, it's so good. They have it in a ton of colors, so if you're not feeling the pink, you could totally go with like an earth tone or cream or whatever, but I was excited about having a little girl, so I got pink. It's this like soft, almost Sherpa-y material, and the thing that's amazing about this pillow is first of all, it has a back support which it doesn't look that big. You wouldn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it's huge, especially if you're trying to correct latch issues like we were, because I had to hold Juniper cross cradle because she was so small and I just like, I had to be able to compress and hold cross cradle and do that whole thing. And this made it so much more comfortable for me to do that. It also is very firm. So you actually get some height. So your arms aren't getting tired and you're not hunching over at all. It allows you to like keep good posture, which is really great. It's got a removable cover if you need to clean it. It's got a little pocket. I just can't say enough good things about this because I went into the lactation appointment and I just had like a boppy and was kind of like, you know, hunched over feeding her, like trying to get a good latch. And they had this pillow in the room and I literally bought it in the lobby on my phone as we were leaving the hospital because I was like, that is game changing. So absolutely love this pillow. It's so good. The other thing that they recommended to me was this Meta Honey. This is so much better than lanolin. I don't know why I had never heard of this when I was breastfeeding Rowan. This is like a medical grade sterilized honey. So there's no risk of infant botulism or whatever it's called. Cause like honey for under a one year old is dangerous. Anyways, this is totally safe. And this healed my nipples so fast. Like within two days, they were completely fine. And it was just insane to me that it was able to do that because I had been using the lanolin and just like struggling through for like a week. So this is pricey. It was like $16 for this tiny little tube, but you barely use any of it. So now I guess I just have this to treat wounds. The other thing that I would recommend if you're having nipple pain and I don't have it with me unfortunately because I used them and then discarded them are the Lansano Gel Soothe Nipple Pads. Put these in the fridge before you use them. So cooling and so great if you're having a little pain there. Now because I was struggling with latch and all of that only for a few days I had to pump and bottle feed Juniper for like a full 24 hours just to give myself a chance to heal. And I fell in love with my breast pump. Obviously, you know, you can get a breast pump for free through most insurances. Um, this one you do have to pay a little bit extra for. I think it was like 80 bucks out of pocket or something. Um, so not absolutely essential if you're really trying to stick to a budget, but this was game changing for me this time around. With Rowan, I had a dip in supply around four months or so, and I had to power pump every night, and I hated being hooked up to the wall. So this time I knew I wanted to get a breast pump that was wireless, I guess. So I got the LV Stride, and it is amazing. You just like tuck it in your bra, you clip this to your pants, and it's got the tubes still. I know LV has like a really expensive one that like doesn't even have the tubes, but honestly, this one works super well. Um, and you can walk around and do whatever you need to do. I used this to pump at like a bridal shower under my dress and nobody even knew I was pumping. It's 
awesome. So I highly recommend that if you plan to pump a lot because being hands-free and uh, just being able to tuck it in your bra is so amazing. I also have absolutely adored this, which is the LV Curve and LV Catch. I think one of them is like the silicone thing that comes in it, I'm pretty sure. So this is kind of like a haka, but same thing. You can put it in your bra, um, you put your nipple in here, and then you just kind of like depress the silicone and it will like suction. And this is super cool for catching the letdown on the other side, or just if you're feeling super engorged, but you don't wanna like go through the whole thing of pumping, I can usually get a couple ounces out of this. And the hawk is good too, but I could never keep it on. Like when I was nursing my babies, like they would just kind of kick it off and it was a whole thing. So I absolutely love this one. I am actually not even using my Hakka anymore. I just use this and it works really well. And again, you can be up and about as you're doing it. You can just kind of keep it in your bra in between feeds if you want to super cool. And I think that's all of my feeding stuff. So I want to go into some like baby health things. If you haven't been following along on this channel since Juniper's birth vlog, first of all, go watch the birth vlog because it's so fun. <laughs> but in that case, you might not know that she basically was like born with a cold. It was so sad. She was super congested. We had to take her to urgent care because she was having a hard time breathing and having some chest retractions and it was really scary. And these are the things that kind of helped us get over the hump of her being sick. I have never heard anybody talk about this before and I don't know why. I think it's just because the Frida one is so popular. This is a nasal aspirator and we had the Frida one. I've heard people rave about it and just sing its praises up and down, but it never really worked for us because the tip of it is so big that you can't really get it in a newborn's nostrils. And so when we went to urgent care, they gave us this one by Neil Med and it's so much better. I don't know why it's not more popular. I even had a hard time finding it on Amazon to link it, um, but I did end up finding it. So I'll link it and everything else that I've talked about down below. First of all, it's got a much finer tip, so it's easier to get in a little newborn's nose. And the tip is also flexible. It's silicone. It's a very structured silicone, so it's not too crazy flexible, but it's, you know, the perfect amount for like kind of getting in there and getting around. You can also pop the mouthpiece off if that grosses you out to like suck it out with your mouth and you can attach this to a breast pump. I believe it'll work with any breast pump. I know for sure it works with the LV one that I just talked about. And it also comes with a cute little carrying case. I say cute, it's not cute, it's just a carrying case. And a ton of the extra filters, like way more than you get with the Frida one. And this has just worked so much better for us. And when she was super congested, we were using this like every couple of hours to help her breathe and it worked wonders. So I can't say enough good things about this. Newborns always have muck, so I feel like this is just good to have on hand, but especially if your little one is sick. This is so good. In conjunction with that, we also use this Boogie Mist. This is a sterile saline spray. Um, it's non-medicated, it's just like you press the button and it squirts saline into their nose, which helps to loosen everything up. So we would squirt it in her nose and then use the snot sucker to get out all the loose boogers. And this really helped her breathe a lot better. So this is a really great combo. Not super exciting, but still a newborn essential. The other thing that really, really helped us out with her being sick is something that I almost hesitate to even put on here because this is a very polarizing product. You either love it or you hate it. And it's actually not even available to buy new anymore, but I'm going to put it in here anyway because it is the single best thing that we've had, I think during this newborn period. And you can get it used um, or just like open box on like Facebook Marketplace or eBay or Mercari or Kitizen. And it is the Owlet sleep sock. Don't get the Outlet Dream Sock. Get the Outlet Smart Sock 3. If you watched my video that was all about baby products I regret buying, you're probably like, mm, girl, you said you regretted buying that. Um, especially used because the sensor died out. My piece of advice for this is make sure you're getting one that's like younger than three years because that's when the sensors die out. With Rowan, we could never get this to work because the sensor was dead and we didn't know it. And so it just kept saying there was a connection issue, but really it's cause the little sensor inside it had a dead battery. Um, we did eventually get it replaced. We were able to do that through Outlet customer service. And I am so 
thankful that we've had this with her because whether you're a first time mom or a fifth time mom, when your baby's struggling to breathe, like that's scary. And you're on high alert, you're on edge, you're probably not sleeping very well, constantly checking on them. And this was such great peace of mind for us. I should say is because we're still using it. Basically it alerts us if her oxygen levels get too low. And again, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of this, but there are people that swear by it and say it saved their children's lives. I personally am so, so thankful, like I said, that we had this because I was able to sleep. I was able to check on her oxygen levels during the day when it sounded like she was struggling, but it was actually fine. And it should be at like 98% oxygen. And I'd be like, okay, it just sounds, you know, snuffily. But yeah, personally, I'm a big fan. Speaking of sleeping, the best thing that we got for Juniper sleep has been this swaddle. Um, we never found a good swaddle with Rowan. We tried the muslin ones, we tried the stretchy bamboo ones, we tried all the Velcro ones we could find, um, and hadn't heard of this brand until my friend Tara, who had a preemie, uh, recommended it to us. But this is called the MB Baby Swaddle. And it's really cool because you put them in it. And first of all, you can choose whether their legs are in or out, depending on the temperature. But then you zip it up and then you Velcro it. And you can Velcro this around them really, really tight. Um, and she's never broken out of this. And she's been a great sleeper. And I kind of feel like this is why. Um, she just feels really snuggled and the moral reflex isn't waking her up. Um, and I'm not getting up in the middle of the night to unswaddle her. Also, because it has the legs in legs out feature, I can keep her top half swaddled for middle of the night diaper changes, which is so great because then I'm not like waking her up with the like, you know, Velcro sound. So we have two of these and I need to buy a third one because they're so, so good. I know I keep repeating myself and saying like, things are so good and amazing, but like, they are, that's why I'm talking about them. So please excuse. The last two products I have to talk about are the only ones that I'm gonna repeat from my previous video because I have to talk about them. They're just too good not to. The first one is the Solly Baby Wrap. Surprise to no one. I love this just as much with her as I did with Rowan. I've got like four or five of them <laughs> because I'm obsessed. This is for baby wearing. It's a wrap that you wrap your baby in and they can basically like sleep in the wrap or just chill out while you're like walking around and doing stuff. You have both your hands free. And what I specifically love about this one is that it's got like some kind of magic baby sleep dust in it or something because it is the only way I could get Rowan to sleep a lot of the time when he was a newborn and Juniper will go right out when she gets in this. I also really like using this when we're going into stores so I can kind of make sure that nobody's like trying to like look in at her and touch her and all of that. It makes me feel like she's a little bit more protected. She obviously can't wear a mask yet. So I have been putting her in this and it makes me feel safer. This is the baby carrier that I recommend for the newborn stage for sure. And then if you are looking for one for an older baby, the Sakura Bloom is my favorite. So I have a whole video on different baby wearing carriers and kind of the pros and cons of each. So if you want to see that, I'll link it for you as well. We also use our snuggle me organic every single day. I don't know what we would do without this. We take this everywhere with us, whether we're going like just into the backyard or to my in-laws house, or we stayed at a cabin at the lake for a couple days, like two weeks ago. And this has been absolutely indispensable to us. It's basically like a pillow that has a divot in the middle which doesn't sound that fancy, but it is the most comfortable place for her to rest and to nap as long as we have an eye on her. And it gives me a safe place to put her. I can put this on a table or even like in the grass and she's super comfy and I don't have to hold her through all of her naps when we are out and about somewhere. I got that cover for it off of Etsy. I know a lot of people asked about that when Rowan was a newborn, so I'll link everything down in the description box. But yeah, I believe those are all of my newborn essentials. Again, if you wanna see my newborn essentials with Rowan, you can kinda like add that video and this video together for like a full list. I'll link that one here. But these are the things that we've used the most with Juniper and the things that have just like saved our sanity in these early days. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more newborn content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I love you guys so, so much, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Bye!